More than 99% of AP Calculus students miss this easy seeming question. So here we're presented with a piecewise function and they want you to figure out what f prime of negative one is. So what most students do is then they figure out what the derivative is. So they figure out the derivative and they're like, well, I want to figure out what f prime of negative one is. So then negative one goes into the one underneath. So then it's going to be negative two times negative one and say the correct answer is b. If you got b, then you're wrong. What some other ones that my students do is they evaluate the limit of the derivative from both sides, right? Because in order for a function to be differentiable, then the limit of the derivative has to exist from both sides. If we evaluate the limit from the left, we get two. If we evaluate the limit from the right, we also get two. So students still get two. But then what you have to realize is the rule for differentiability. For a function to be differentiable, it also has to be continuous at that point. If we approach negative one from the left of the top function, then you see we get three. If we approach negative one from the positive side of the function, you see that we get five. So then we see that the function is not continuous. Therefore, the derivative does not exist.